Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the one of many pet battle on Argus. That is both the name of the boss, and it's a true and slightly grammatically incorrect statement. We'll start with a quick strat for world questing, and then go through teens for every single pet family for progress on the family fighter achievement. One of many lives here in the Antorn Waste. Looking at these things makes me deeply uncomfortable, so I will be glad to smack it around with some bunnies. First up, the fastest strategy for everyday world questing, which also doubles as the beast strategy. We're using a Zandalari Raptor with more than 281 speed with Black Claw, then a Giraffe Calf with more than 281 speed, or a Summit Kid, and you want that one set up with Stampede. For the third pet, you can just grab any beast. You're gonna hear that more than 281 a lot this video just because that's how fast he is, and for once, it's a reasonable bar to beat. Starting with the Raptor, use Black Claw and proceed to get smoked by that cannon. Bring in the giraffe and stampede him to death. It's like the Lion King, but less sad. Next, we'll do aquatic. I'm using my ghost shark with huge sharp teeth, blood in the water and dive, and then a speedy frog with tongue lash and swarm. By speedy, I mean over 281 speed, which can be tricky to find in a frog. Mojo is an easy pick since he will always be fast enough. Starting with the ghost shark, use dive to avoid the cannon. Next, we're going to use huge sharp teeth, then blood in the water, and then teeth twice more before you dive again. Then it's blood in the water one last time before you eat the Antan cannon. With one of many over halfway done, it's time to bring in a frog, use swarm of flies, and then tongue lash your way to victory. He's got like six heads, but he can't deal with tongues. Figures. Next, we have critters. I'm using a rabbit with flurry, dodge, and burrow, then a marsoul with flurry, burrow, and feign death. You could swing it with just rabbits or just marsouls. I'm just excited to spend time with my new marsoul buddies. Starting with my bunny, I'll use burrow, then flurry, then dodge. Flurry three more times, then burrow to deny him a heal. He wrecks you with cannon, but he's over halfway doomed, so no worries. On my marsoul, I'll use flurry twice, then burrow, then back to flurrying. Turns out I really didn't need feign death, but it's nice to have handy in the event of a cannon emergency. For the elemental strategy, I have a Sproutling pet with more than 281 speed, set up with Lash, Refuge, and Fist of the Forest. Second slot is my Cinderweb Recluse with Skitter and Paralyzing Venom, while third is the classic Pandaren Water Spirit with Water Jet, Dive, and Geyser. Starting with the Sproutling, use Refuge, then Fist of the Forest, and then swap to the Cinderweb Recluse. I'm going to use Paralyzing Venom on cooldown and mash Skitter in between. When the spider dies, I'll bring back the Sproutling, use Fist of the Forest again, Lash once, and then use Refuge. Lash three more times, and then one more Fist of the Forest before the Sproutling dies. The boss is almost done, but he does have cannon back up, so we'll dive first, then use Water Jet to finish the fight. Next up is Humanoid. In the first slot, bring a pet with wild magic and over 281 speed, such as the Ashley Sprightling, the Corefire Imp, or even the Diablo 3 Treasure Goblin. In the second slot, you want Squirky with Bubble and Stampede. Starting with the Sprightling, lay down Wild Magic and then die horribly to that cannon. Bring in Squirky, use Bubble, and then Stampede. When the Stampede is over, Stampede again. It worked last time. Next, we'll do Mechanical. I'm using a Draenei Micro Defender with Metal Fist, Reflective Shield, and Ion Cannon, a Pocket Cannon with Explode, and then a Mechanical Frostbore with Missile and Decoy, but that third slot is pretty flexible. Starting with the Micro Defender, we're going to do something very fun, which is use Reflective Shield and reflect his Antan Cannon. That maxes out the amount of damage you're allowed to do in one turn, and man does it feel good. Then, use Metal Fist, followed by Ion Cannon to really max out your mileage. With that done, bring in the Pocket Cannon. Pick any damage shot, doesn't matter which, and press it four times for two shots, and then explode. The Frost Boar comes out, and we are almost done, so I'll sling a couple of missiles at him. If it was less close, you might consider throwing up a safety decoy. Next up is Dragonkin. I'm using my Twilight Clutch Sister with Twilight Fire, Phase Shift, and Twilight Meteorite, Eula with Breath, Celestial Blessing, and Life Exchange, and a Sprite Darter Hatchling with over 281 speed set up with Arcane Blast, Evanescence, and Moonfire. The Sprite Darter could be another Fairy Dragon with the same moves as long as the speed is greater than 281. This one is kinda long, so bear with me as I put a massive paragraph of move order on your screen. Starting with the Clutch Sister, use Phase Shift, then Twilight Fire, Twilight Meteorite, and Twilight Fire again. Swap to the Eula. Use Celestial Blessing, and then a big life exchange. Then swap into Sprite Darter. Use Evanescence, then Moonfire, and then Arcane Blast three times. 
and again, Evanescence, Moonfire, Arcane Blast until your fairy dragon dies. He just used Cannon, so I'll bring in Eula, use Breath twice, and then Celestial Blessing. Baby Life Exchange, and then Breath until Eula dies. Our Clutch Sister is still clutching on, so Twilight Fire, and then Phase Shift, and then Twilight Fire, followed by Meteorite, and that does the trick. It's probably okay if you lose track of your move order. Just dodge the cannons and do damage as best as you can and get at least one juicy early life exchange. I believe in you. Next is flying. In my first slot is a sky thin pet with wild magic, or you could use a moth with call lightning, and second is our best bud Icky with black claw and flock. Any flying third will do. This is considerably simpler than the dragon fiasco. Use wild magic and the sky fin dies. Then it's black claw and flock to the rescue. Icky is truly the ankle render of the skies. Next, we've got magic. I'm using an Eye of Observation with Lens Flare and Powerball, a Spectral Porcupet with Powerball, Spirit Spikes and Illusionary Barrier, and third is any Surge of Power pet with a spammable damage move. I used the Empowered Manaphine due to his strong attack stat. Starting with the Eye, I'll use Powerball three times and then Lens Flare. That reduces his hit chance by 50%, which can be very nice. After Lens Flare, go back to mashing Powerball and using Lens Flare on cooldown. Depending on your luck, you should get the boss to about half health. With the Porky Pet, you want to take a look at the cooldown of his moves. Use Illusionary Barrier when there is one or zero rounds remaining on his cannon cooldown. If there was one round, you want to pass the following turn so that it eats both the consume and the cannon. Then, Powerball twice before setting up a Spirit Spikes. That will reduce the damage that you take from that consume, which reduces his heal. Then it's back to spamming Powerball, and again, use the barrier when there is one round left on his cannon cooldown. The cooldown tracker that you see here is part of the Pet Tracker add-on pack. When your Porky Pet dies, bring out the Mana Fiend. Your job is to Arcane Blast him into Surge of Power range, which here took about two Arcane Blasts. Last up is Undead. I'm using a Fragment of Desire with Reflective Shield and Soul Rush, a Ghastly Rat with Flurry, Swarm of Flies, and Crouch, and in third, I have the Ghastly Kid. That goat is nice for this fight, but as it turns out, I didn't need him. Start with the Fragment, use Reflective Shield to reflect his cannon, and then Soul Rush on your bonus Undead round. Bring out the Ghastly Rat and use Swarm of Flies, and then Crouch, and then start flurrying. If you have bad luck with Flurry, you might need to give him a nice hoof with the goat, and you do have Ethereal just in case you need to block an emergency cannon. Always be prepared. So that's Family Fighter one of many. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for the rest of the Family Fighter guides and other super cool web videos. Let me know what you think, share your own strategies in the comments if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!